Hi guys, you welcome back to my channel. I'm so thrilled and happy to be here with another video. Thank you so much for the love and support. I'd like to say happy weekend to you wherever you are watching me. I'm sure you are enjoying your Saturday. Thank you so much, my lovely, wonderful friends and subscribers, the new and the returning one. Thank you so much. In today's video, you know what? I'm talking about uh, uh, the Super Falcons as they get ready for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Super Falcons are battle ready to face uh, a tough Brazil test. Now, before I get into details, I like to say you are welcome. It is a channel to be. If you are here for the first time, or perhaps you have not subscribed to the channel, consider to subscribe to the channel. Press the notification bell so that you don't miss out my subsequent videos. And also help and share if it is possible. To my friends, thank you very much for coming. My subscribers, the new and the returning one, appreciate you greatly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, watch the video to the end. Give me a thumbs up and share it if it is possible for you to do. Okay? Having said that, let's dive in, into it. Paris 2024 Olympics, Nigerian Super Falcons ready for tough Brazil test. What am I talking about? As far as Paris 2024 Olympics is concerned, the Super Falcons are battle ready to take on almighty Brazil. The Super Falcons, Mifida, said this, and, and uh, is, she is by name Tony Payne. Tony Payne expects a challenging match against Brazil in their opening game at the 2024 Olympic Games. You know, the coach, Randy Wardrum, and his team will kick off their campaign for a podium finish with a Group C match against the South Americans in Bordeaux on Thursday, the 25th of July. Brazil are considered one of the top football nations in the world. And there is no gain saying about it. Tony Payne, who has been linked with a move to English club Everton from Spanish side, Zivela, believes the Super Falcons are on par with Brazil, but acknowledges the difficulty of the match. Hear what she has to say. He said, playing at the World Cup was an amazing atmosphere and, and also an amazing experience and being able to compete on the international stage with this team again is a good opportunity. I'm excited about Penny. I mean, Pain declared. Pain declared. Brazil is a tough team and talented, but as Nigeria, we are their level and it's going to be a good match. In addition to Brazil, the Super Falcons will face current world champion Spain and Japan in the same group. Nigeria's record at the Olympic Games has been very poor over the years. The Super Falcons have only won one of their previous nine games at the Summer Olympics game, losing the other eight. At their first Olympics in Australia 2000, the Super Falcon lost all the three games, scoring three goals and conceding nine. In the 2004 Olympics in Athens, Greece, Nigeria defeated Japan 1-0 but lost 2-1 to Sweden, finishing second in their group. They reached the quarterfinals for the first time and only for the first and only time, losing 2-1 to Germany. However, in Beijing 2008, the Super Falcons again lost all three group games, group games, scoring just once and conceding, whopping five goals. Nigeria did not qualify for the 2012, 2016, and 2020 Olympic Games. So that's where Nigeria Super Falcons, that's where they are at the moment. But they are very, very confident of doing the nation proud and doing themselves proud in this Olympic. They are ready, roaring to go, and they are they believe in themselves that they are capable, capable of getting out of that group 
group of debt where they will be facing Japan, Brazil, and Spain. Guys, what do you think? Do you think the Super Falcons are capable of qualifying from that group where they have been put? Let me know what you think about it. What is your opinion? I'd like to know. Please let me have your opinion in the comment section. Thank you so much. If you have watched me to this moment, I'd like to appreciate you greatly for giving your time up to watch this video. One more time, I appreciate everyone, everyone, every one of you for the love and support. Keep on supporting, keep on sharing, and keep on believing. Guys, in life, there is, we have up and down, but if you believe in your ability, you believe in yourself, you believe you can make it, you can. You know what? If you can dream it, you can achieve it. The super focus are dreaming it, and I'm sure they can achieve greatness. Let's support Super Falcons as they get ready for the Olympics. And don't forget, coming Wednesday, they will play in Canada in a one more match before the Olympic game begins. Thank you one more time for the love and support you have shown on this channel. Keep on supporting and keep on believing. Till I come your way next time, with another video, I like to say bye bye to you all.